Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. We've been getting a whole lot of rain, a whole lot of rain recently. You mix that with what had been warm temperatures up until the last couple of days, but warm temperatures, tons of rain, that means mosquitoes. And if you don't like mosquitoes, and I've yet to meet anyone who does like mosquitoes, <laughs> some scientist somewhere who works on them might. Birds. But if you want to get rid of these things, Southeast Termite and Pest Control is the group to call. One-time treatments are available with no monthly commitments. Also, if you want to have three set up treatments, five treatments, seven treatments, you can do that with discounted packages. Southeast Termite and Pest Control, they're the best in East Tennessee, family owned, locally owned. I know these folks, they're good people. Southeast Termite and Pest Control. All right, back to our, we're looking at Tennessee's 2017 schedule. Let's go over and take a look at uh, what Mike Strange here, and in the break, we just caught this. We had the schedule out of order. <laughs> didn't, we didn't really impact anything, but now it's in order on the right side. Um, we were testing stuff earlier, and I'd never, I never. We were just throwing them on the board, and I never unthrew them. I would like to readdress one through six now. If you yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll have to start <laughs> it from scratch. Um, what is next in terms of most likely win remaining? Is that Kentucky at number seven? We're Missouri at six. We're looking for number seven here. You would you would think Kentucky has to be it. Okay, everybody's uh, sitting I, I mean, in silence. Jump in, guys. Yeah. I'm no, between Kentucky and Georgia Tech. I think that it's Kentucky. The, the, the placement on the schedule scares me, though, for Tennessee. You go to Alabama, then you have to go to Kentucky. Where are you physically? There's a lot of – there's even more unknown at that point. But I would say Kentucky right I'll here. I'll tell you what, I'm going to change and go with Georgia Tech because of that exact reason right there that we did talk about. Because of Kentucky following Alabama, I'm, I'm going to go with Georgia Tech. Like Josh is proud of himself. Yeah, no, I no, but no. I, I disagree. No, I totally <laughs> disagree. I mean, you're that. playing that crazy – Tennessee has never had much success against triple option offenses. I mean, our, the, one of the last oh, really good Tennessee point. teams barely, you know, they knock off Cal and then they barely get by Air Force. That's right. That, that type of offense worries me, and depending on what they do to you, you could wind up with injuries for the next few weeks out of that. I would say Georgia, uh, I would say Kentucky is next at number seven. What do you think, yeah, Mike? Yeah, Kentucky. Sure. All right, Mike Strange makes the decision. Survey just, says Kentucky. Okay, you go Kentucky too. All right. I now, would also go Kentucky, but I, th I think – I bet Vegas would have it pretty close if you had Tennessee at Kentucky and Tennessee versus Georgia Tech in Atlanta. I bet the lines would be pretty similar. All right. Now, do we all agree that Georgia Tech would be next at eight? You guys that had him at no, seven I mean, do. Yeah. I, I would put him at eight. Mike, Strange, Griffith. I'll go. Okay. Strange will go eight. Yeah, I, I am really. Uh, yeah, I'm, you know LSU sitting there is tempting. I guess I'd go with Georgia Ooh. Tech. All right. So now we get into the red marker. Now that's the danger. So we got eight. But we still say that's a, a likely win. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. See, I, I've yeah. got them at seven and five this year. So to me, I've got these next. These some are the five the, losses. Uh, Georgia Tech is a loss in my book could right be now. outlined in red. I, I mean, I. I <laughs> okay. Well, let's. You know. All right. I'm going to start down at this end this time. Mike Griffith, what's next? What's number nine? You LSU is that LSU, where you're going? LSU. Yeah. Okay. LSU, LSU. Who agrees with LSU as the number nine on this list? I would put LSU next. I, Mike Strange. I put Georgia. I think. You think Georgia be a more he, likely win? I than think Georgia is a more likely win than LSU. I'm going to go Georgia as well. So I cast that deciding ballot. Uh, it's hard to guess who's going to be injured late in the season. Sure. Uh, Georgia has the hell Mary revenge that it's thinking about. Well, and and here's the other thing. Now, I, I'm going to go with Georgia will be tougher. I would put LSU here. LSU. And here's here's why. Georgia is due against you. Not for the Hail Mary thing, but you've beaten them a couple of times in a row now. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that your talent level is that much better than Georgia's to where you're going to run on some streak with them. It's a, it's a coin toss yeah. for me, but I would go Georgia. I mean, I'm sorry, I would go LSU 9 and I would go Georgia 10. Yeah, a lot of guys back for Georgia. LSU just lost Leonard Fournette, new coach. Georgia's a more stable situation. Second year coach, better quarterback. All right, so, uh, so Georgia and Florida, Georgia, your last two. That makes Georgia 10 in my book. So Georgia's 10 because yeah. they're at home, Florida's yeah. 11 on the road. Does everybody agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, I agree. And I think the other thing that's, that's bad about Florida, I had somebody the other day tell me, oh, Florida's not that talented. You know, they, you beat them last year. They, they don't scare me. Well, I'm not saying they, they scare you. I'm saying you play them at Florida where you've had very little success over the years. And also, that is your third game in the first 13 days of the season. That – that can wear a team out that yep. early, three games in third, and not to mention the fact, again, getting back to Georgia Tech, who may leave you maimed with all their uh, their cut blocks. Uh, they may leave you in, in a bad shape. 
you're probably going to play both quarterbacks at Georgia Tech and against Indiana State, is my guess, which means you hope by Florida you'll have a guy who will be ready to, to do it on his own and not have the, the rotation. Uh, to me, Florida is, is more serious than Georgia, not because Florida is some great team, but just you throw all those other factors into if, it. If Alabama just wasn't loaded, Florida would always be my number 12 as far as ranking them at your least. Especially just on the road. Because, because, Yeah, but just because of the history. Yeah. And you've gone down there. How many times during the losing streak at Florida has Tennessee had superior talent? And, I mean, it's, it's, it's more than just once or twice. You know, so I just think because of the history, the only thing that keeps me from putting them number 12 is Alabama is just so much better than everybody else. Okay. All right, guys, we gotta, uh, we got to finish up. So our four most likely wins – Indiana State, UMass, Southern Miss, Vandy, four most likely losses, LSU, Georgia, then Florida, then Alabama. Okay. And the go-betweens are Georgia Tech, Vandy, South Carolina, and Kentucky. Interesting. All right. Uh, when we come back, big changes, big things on the landscape of college football that are, that are changing, swirling. We'll discuss those. And then also uh, tell you later why Butch Jones should just cut us all out, just not, not talk. I'll show you why. Plus, an incredible stat about Tennessee's talent level. You'll want to see that stat. You'll like it. Come on back on the Sports Source.